here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Isaf Ulskus Ebob's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at Noob Cybot from Storm Collectibles. I've been wanting to look at a figure from Storm Collectibles for some time. I've heard a lot of good things. There are a couple things that set my spider sense off. We'll see how uh, that, that comes to fruition. Shout out to Yule. He runs a small page on Facebook. It's actually a huge page called Third Party TF Crashers. You should look them up. He went to SDCC and was able to pick one up for me. So I, I definitely appreciate that. He does come with a slew of accessories and we will be taking a look at those now. So he comes with a slew of hands. He comes with left and right kind of posing hands, left and right uh, karate hands, left and right gonna get your hands, and then an additional holding hand for the right hand. All of them are styled the same way. All of them are decoed the same way. We'll talk about that when we get to the figure. He also comes with a spear. Uh, the spear is sculpted nice. It operates by taking the hand off, putting this on, putting the hand back on. Silver paint on the spear tip, and then red uh, splattered blood applied to it, which looks really good. Uh, see if I can get you a close-up of that. Really nicely done. So, hand off, and then we'll put the spear on. And then, actually, we'll, we'll do it this way, and then we'll have the hand back on. And there it is, kind of in service. And I think it does the trick just fine. He comes with this bit of business, which is a skull with some nice dry brushing done. It's a black skull, and then it's like one shade of gray, and then a white even applied on top for some dry brushing. Looks really good. And then you have the burst of flame. It's a yellow translucent that kind of fades to an orange and has some spots of red throughout. And then another translucent that kind of acts as the stage to sit that in. And this is, once again, the yellow translucent with some orange and then some red applied so that you can pull off this maneuver. This which looks pretty cool and makes for a, a, a pretty cool display base um, and kind of stand and an extra bit of uh, you know stability to keep him standing because it operates as like a third leg, so to speak. He comes with a cloth mask uh, that just has a, kind of the imprint of the nose and then some wrinkling in, otherwise black plastic. You can see where the peg is, so the more kind of plasticky mask pulls off and then this one plugs in so that the, you can go from this look to that look depending on your sensibilities. And then lastly, he comes with these two effects, which are like the blood splatter for him losing his head, so to speak. And one plugs into the head and the other one plugs into the neck and we'll show that now. And there that is, which is also a pretty cool effect. And since that does it for accessories, let's take a look at the figure himself. Double ball peg for the head, which is cool. Only problem is you don't get much of a neck sculpt, so there is a little bit of disconnect for the suspension of disbelief, but it's not the worst. Articulation-wise, you get, oh man, I didn't even know that that hinged down. Oh, because this, this is just a covering. This piece here is just a soft plastic covering for the double ball peg, allowing you for a great range head all the way down to there, up to there, and then the swivel. Decent head sculpt doesn't really come through because it's all black. It's hard to see. I do wish that these side pieces of the mask came down a little bit more and kind of sat a little bit more flush against his face, but not the worst thing in the world. We have these pieces, which are sculpted nice. These are a very nice soft plastic. Um, it doesn't get in the way at all. Marvel Legends could, could learn a thing or two by applying this type of soft plastic for their capes and stuff. It... It works really well, it doesn't hinder the articulation. Speaking of articulation, for the shoulders we have a butterfly joint with a ball peg inside that comes out to a disc hinge. So you get the shoulder up to there. You get him. we'll talk about that. That's not the first time that that's happened to me. And it's hard to tell exactly where, how much range you get and then where the peg is about to pop off. So you get down to there. The good thing is you can just put it back in place. You get up to there and then you get the swivel. Uh, this, we'll talk about that in a second, but like, this joint moves a little stiff. This one is a little bit looser, um, so you can see the range a little bit better, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, this one is not tolerance well, so as you're manipulating it, it's difficult to tell kind of where the articulation ends and then, you know, the torque to pop the joint out of the socket begins. Outside of that, you have a bicep swivel. His skin is actually like a translucent plastic. I didn't notice that until I was under these lights. It's a, it's a deep translucence, but it, it is a translucent nonetheless. And then you have this soft 
plastic armband here and then that one is sculpted on and you do have silver dry brushing on that as you do the hand guard as well the hands themselves are on a ball hinge so it's a ball peg on one side it's a swivel peg on the other side you get the sw the hinge and the range and then you can turn it and get in out turn it back and get up down no problem for the torso I think it might be a double. It's hard to tell, um, but it doesn't really move smoothly. So it's it's a little bit it's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, you do get over to there, over to the other side, a bit of an ab crunch using the waist joints. You get a separate one, and then you can get back to there. So it's it's a lot of engineering but you would think you'd be able to get more out of it you do get the swivel you also get the swivel at the waist so no problems there articulation for the arm is the same as it is on the other side and then you just adjust these soft plastic ones as you as you need to soft plastic down here for this stuff uh, there's no kind of sculpt around the hips I, they're just kind of counting on this covering it all up and to be fair it does a pretty good job uh, but it is just like a missing piece uh, which allows you to see a little bit more of the uh, the guts of this thing. T-joint and ball joints for hips. They do not drop down. And they're basically built onto a socket joint and then an additional leg over top of it, which gets you the thigh swivel. Another tight joint. Articulation-wise, though, it isn't an issue. You get past the Van Dam, and you get just about the full Monty, I say let's give it to him, plus the thigh swivel which we talked about. The skull for the pants is all done well, and then you get a double jointed knee, which isn't the best, but it's not the worst either, silver dry brushing on the armor. So all in all, fairly well done. For the feet, you get an ankle tilt up to there, so that's nice. You get an ankle tilt down to there, so that's nice. And then you get, uh, on the ball peg here, you get a slightest bit of a rocker. It'd be nice to have more, but that's what you get. And then you get a toe hinge. And all that stuff looks pretty good. It's it's a, it's a pretty well made figure overall. Um, but I do have this joint in particular is extremely tight. I'm see if I can. Yeah, it's extremely tight, uh, and that's what he looks like from the back. Size comparison wise, there he is with the Mezco Raiden, and then a Star Wars, which we just looked at Tuesday. So he's bigger than your average 112 scaled figure. Keep that in mind as well for your displays. Final thoughts wise, it is a little bit irritating that they're kind of going with their own scale, but I guess that's a decision that they made and then we've made the choice to buy it, so that's not really their fault if we could choose to go in, it's ours. My only real complaint here has to do with the joint tolerances. That's my big complaint. And they're just too tight in certain places. They just don't move smoothly, if you catch my drift. It, it, to be honest with you, like in 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 that regard, like, I don't know, and not everybody sees NECA the way that I see NECA. But, like, I feel like NECA has great sculpts, but they don't really capture that action figure element. I feel like this feels like, this feels like what NECA should have evolved to two years ago. It, it It's a good figure, and I like a lot about it. It's not amazing, but it's a solid effort. I love the fact that they're making a whole bunch of them. I love Mortal Kombat as a franchise, so I'm excited to get into it, and I hope that they continue through. But it doesn't have that super premium feel. It has a very nice feel, and it's a good figure, but it doesn't have that, like, kind of... I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Just that that Figma or Figwarts feeling too. But you know, I think this company is is uh, you know, you know, obviously going to grow and stuff. And I'm 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 excited to see where they head in this line because I'm in. I'm I'm committed. So I'll be watching them pretty closely. Positives wise, I have had a lot of fun posing him. Did I talk about the elbow articulation? I'm not sure that I did. It's a double jointed elbow. It gets you past 90 degrees. If I didn't. But positive-wise, I've had a lot of fun posing him. Like, the action figure element really does work, even with the tight joints. So, yeah, I I'm happy with them. I, I do recommend them. Just, you know, if you've ever bought a NECA figure and felt like, man, this, 
this should feel a little bit better for what it is. This is what you would want that to feel like. That's the best way I can think of to describe it. It's good. It's solid. It comes with tons of accessories that I love. The sculpt is good. The articulation is all there. It just sometimes works against itself. And it's, you know, moderately priced for what it is. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, I'd love to see some more. I'm anxious. I have everything else pre-ordered from them from the Mortal Kombat line. So we will be looking at them here and we'll see how this, this evolves, right? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.